To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is the Palisha from Examin. This is the fifth part in our video series of Indian Geography. If you have not watched the previous lesson of Natural Vegetation of India, the link is given in the description. Do watch that first and then continue with this lesson. Before getting started with this lesson, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's continue with the wildlife of India in brief. Wildlife Wildlife of India is of a great natural heritage. It is estimated that about 4-5% of all known plant and animal species on the earth are found in India. There are certain species that are at the brink of the extinction. Some estimates suggest that at least 10% of India's recorded wild flora and 20% of its mammal are on the threatened list. Let us now understand the different categories of existing plants and animal species based on the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, which is also known as IUCN. It can be classified as follows. Normal species Species whose population levels are considered to be normal for their survival, such as cattle, pine, rodents, etc. Endangered species these are the species which are in danger of extinction. The survival of such species is difficult if the negative factors that have led to the decline in their population continue to operate. The few examples of the endangered species are black buck, crocodile, Indian rhino, lion tail macaco, and sangai tea. Vulnerable species These are the species whose population has been declined to levels from where it is likely to move into the endangered category in the near future if the negative factors continue to operate. The examples of such species are blue sheep, Asiatic elephant, gangetic dolphin. Rare species Species with small population may move into the endangered level for vulnerable category if the negative factors affecting them continue to operate. The examples of such species are the Himalayan brown bear, wild Asiatic buffalo, desert fox and hornbill. Endemic species These are the species which are only found in some geographical areas, usually isolated by natural or geographical barriers. Examples of such species are the Andaman teal, Nicobar pigeon, Andaman wild pig, Mithun in Arunachal Pradesh. Extinct species these are the species which are not found after the searches of the known or likely habitat areas where they may occur. A species may be extinct from a local area, region, country, continent or the entire earth. The examples of such species are the Asiatic cheetah, pink-headed turk. Forest and Wildlife Protection Programs by the Government The protection of wildlife has a long tradition in India. Many stories of Panchtantra and jungle books have stood as a testament of time for the love of wildlife. These stories have had a profound impact on the young minds. In 1972, a Comprehensive Wildlife Act was enacted by the Central Government of India, led by Ms. Indira Gandhi, which provides the main legal framework for the conservation and protection of wildlife in India. The two main objectives of the Act are to provide protection to the endangered species list in the schedule of the Act and to provide legal support to the conservation areas of the country classified as national parks, sanctuaries and closed areas. This Act has been comprehensively amended in 1991, making punishments more stringent and also has made provision for the protection of specified plant species and conservation of endangered species of wild animals. For the purpose of effective conservation of flora and fauna, special steps have been initiated by the Government of India in collaboration with the UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Programme. There are about 92 national parks and 492 wildlife sanctuaries covering an area of 15.67 million hectares in the country. National Park It is a relatively large area consisting of one or more ecosystem and it operates at the national level. No human activity or settlement is allowed, that is human interference is totally prohibited. Villages cannot graze their animals and national parks have extremely strict rules about the jungle produce collection, for example honey. 
to know further about the national parks in india refer to our video on the top 10 national parks in india the link is given in the description wildlife sanctuary in wildlife sanctuary regulated human activities are allowed for example grazing of animals firewood collection and tourism it can be created for a particular species which is not the case with the national parks wildlife sanctuaries are operated at the state level a sanctuary can be upgraded to a national park but not the vice versa to know further about the wildlife sanctuary in india refer to our video on the top 10 wildlife sanctuaries in india the link is given in the description india has also introduced many special schemes like the project tiger 1973 and project elephant 1992 to conserve some endangered species and their habitat in a sustainable manner we will now look at the few of those projects project tiger there are 50 tiger reserves in india which are governed by the project tiger which is administered by the national tiger conservation authority which is also known as ntca india is home to about 70 percent of tigers in the world in 2006 there were 1411 tigers which increased to 1706 in 2011 and 2226 in 2014 the total number of wild tigers has risen to 3891 in 2016 according to the world wildlife fund and global tiger forum project elephant Project Elephant is initiated for the protection of elephants, their habitats and corridors. It also seeks to address the issue of human-elephant conflict and welfare of domesticated elephants. The project is being implemented in 13 states and union territories. The objective of the Project Elephant is also to monitor the illegal killing of elephants. Project Snow Leopard Project Snow Leopard aims to safeguard and conserve India's unique natural heritage of high altitude wildlife population and their habitats. Snow Leopard is a globally endangered species as well as the most important flagship species of the mountain region. Sea Turtle Project With the objective of conservation of olive ridley turtles and other endangered marine turtles, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change initiated the Sea Turtle Conservation Project in collaboration of United Nations Development Programme in 1999 with Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, as the implementing agency. The project is being implemented in 10 coastal states of the country with special emphasis in the state of Orissa. Biosphere Reserve A biosphere reserve is a unique representation of ecosystem of terrestrial and coastal areas which are internationally recognized within the framework of UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program. The Biosphere Reserve aims at achieving the three objectives. The first objective is of the core zone, the central area that has to be kept undisturbed of all the activities except for the research which does not disturb the wildlife. The second objective is of the buffer zone. Some light activities like tourism, fishing, grazing, etc. are allowed which do not disturb the core zone. The research activities are encouraged over here. The third objective is for the transition zone. The outmost part and non-delimited but activities have to be harmonious with the biosphere reserve. Conservation Reserves Conservation reserves can be declared by the state governments in any area owned by the government. Particularly, the areas adjacent to the national parks and sanctuaries and the areas which link one protected area with the another can also be declared as the conservation reserves. Such declarations should be made after having consultation with the local communities. Community Reserves Community reserves can be declared by the state government in any private or community land which is not comprising within a national park, sanctuary or a conservation reserve. Community reserves are mainly located where an individual or a community has volunteered to conserve the wildlife and its habitat. We will now see the list of biosphere reserves in India. Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, Nanda Devi National Park and Biosphere Reserve, 
Norkek National Park, Sundarban National Park and Wildlife Sanctuaries, Manas National Park, Simply Pal National Park, Panchmari Biosphere Reserves, Amar Kantak Biosphere Reserve. The Great Run of Kutch has wildlife sanctuaries and protected reserves, Cold Desert Biosphere Reserves, Kanchanjunga Wildlife Sanctuaries, Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserve, Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve, Dirwa Saikoka National Park, Sesha Chalam Hills Biosphere Reserve and Pana National Park. To know further about the biosphere reserves in India, refer to our video on the top 10 biosphere reserves in India of the UNESCO list. The link is given in the description below. With this we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Stay tuned to the exam win by subscribing to our notifications.